So Alix Lazaro Pratt, he's a CFD engineer for Numeric Systems, used his company's aerodynamic simulation technology to produce a study of Cybertruck's drag coefficient, which he said is 0.39 which he released on LinkedIn. He said, contrary to what many people would think, the sharp edge of the roof does not produce a big detachment. It's true that the flow is not attached, but in fact, the air flows down the slope quite seamlessly. The boundary layer does not substantially grow. This is quite remarkable and a big aerodynamic advantage compared to other pickup trucks. Moreover, the diffuser makes a substantial effect in the center of the vehicle's rear end. It creates suction and reduces the wake. On the other side, our results show clear turbulent structures created by the front edge, which connects the bumper and the bonnet, the vertical edge right behind the front lights, the wheel arches, protectors surrounding edgy geometry, the rim styling, and the geometry of the A pillar and C pillar. The generation of the turbulent structures is caused by the sharpness of these edges. These geometrical features increase the drag of the vehicle, which ultimately reduce the range of the Cybertruck. Furthermore, due to the sharp rear end, the flow instantly detaches and creates a considerably big low energy area or wake, most noticeably behind the top and side rear end edges. Okay, so if you're not an aeronautical engineer, a lot of that is not going to make any sense. Basically talking about the different areas of the car and how aerodynamic they are. I guess basically because there's some angular bits to this, right. it's going to be a little bit less efficient. Right. Most cars today you see are smooth. That means that the air flows smoothly over them. But I want to point out, let's look at the big picture yeah, here, yeah. right? Most pickup trucks have a coefficient of drag of 0.55 to 0.65, okay? Okay. The Ford F-150 Lightning, for instance, has a 0.44, which is really good. The Rivian supposedly has a 0.3, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Elon has said he hopes that the Cybertruck will get down to a 0.3 as well. So if they already have a 0.39, according to this, which isn't actually the truck, it's just an approximation. Right. I think there's a pretty good chance that it could get down to 0.3. And that would be great because, I mean, pickup trucks normally have double that. Now, a couple of the things that I noticed were that in the simulation, they weren't spinning the tires. This could either add or subtract some, probably add a uh, more turbulent flow to somewhere. Um, but maybe there's some special thing with the, the wheel covers that they suck up the wind and right. distribute it somewhere else. I, I have no idea, but I just know that you'd want to have that in, in some sort of a simulation. Right. Um, so this is an approximation. Right. Obviously, he doesn't have the real files of what they're going to be making the Cybertruck with, and we don't have a production version of the Cybertruck right. yet. So all of that would factor into uh, the drag coefficient. And just important to keep in mind that the drag coefficient is not everything. It's also the frontal area. Right. Um, you're going to be multiplying those things together exactly. to, to help get your full drag um, equation. Which is why I think the Rivian isn't as exciting as people think, because 0.3 is great, but it does have a big front area. And I just don't believe the 0.3. Yeah, I do I just don't believe this. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.